This month was very rainy and it was also quite eventful for me. There were lots of adjustments happening both in my life and work and I was trying to juggle everything while at the same time enjoying this beautiful weather and all the things I have to be thankful for. I love to spend my time thinking about life, our human experience, our connections to our non-human kin, our emotions, and everything in between. Painting is the perfect space for all these thoughts and feelings to come through and also to understand them and to understand me better. I love philosophizing about it all and for some reason painting species from the natural world becomes like a meditation, an invitation for all these to be explored on a deeper level. This painting about pollination has been one of my favorites this year and I am doing very slow advances on it and I am learning how to be okay with that. This month was focused in the balance in between dreaming for the future and also enjoying the present moment. I've been philosophizing about the importance of balance and how the polarities are important to come back to that center. The balance between spending time with others and recharging alone, in between doing a lot of things and resting the balance between art, structure, and playfulness. Knowing when to create, when to rest, and when to receive. The balance of stillness and bursts of energy. The trust, the flow, the planning, and the letting go. giving a watercolor class and a painting class to some of our friends who are visiting us in town and first we will be learning the basics of watercolor we're going to be working on wet and wet dry wet and dry and I've made these I don't know if you can see them but I made these um, quadri quadri quadrantes <laughs> So we can try on the different ways of working with watercolors and I also made this small watercolor palette for them to try out. All of these are natural pigment watercolors and I also pulled out the watercolors that I've been making myself as well as some recent ones that I got. They are all made from dirt. There's one made from lobster mushroom and these are by the brand Soils. I just got these at MycoFest and I'm so excited to try them out. And for the second half of our class, we're going to be painting a plant. I thought of either visiting our, our, our closest farm um, and see if they have any flowers. But before doing that, I thought of just walking throughout 
here outside in the woods to see if there were any plants or even flowers that I could find. And not only did I find amazing plants, but I also found chanterelles for the first time. And I got two chanterelles and I had already seen three days ago that there's a chicken of the woods growing right here where we live. Um, it was still too small. I spotted it two days ago, I was waiting, yesterday it grew a lot and I went back yesterday afternoon and an animal had feasted on it so today I just got a little piece of chicken of the woods because if an animal has feasted on it they found the chicken of the woods so I'd rather leave it for them but I'm very excited, I haven't done an uh, in-person class from watercolor basics in so long and this is getting me excited to do these more often. Before continuing with this vlog, let me share with you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, art portfolio, and online shop. I've been using Squarespace flexible website templates since 2018 and I can't recommend them enough. It is so easy to customize my website's look and upload my content to always look its best in every device. I'm currently very excited to try out their Fluid Engine, their next generation website design system, as it is super customizable and easy to use. You can use a two week free trial using the first link on this video's description. And once you're ready to launch, use the code CAROARÉVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. It is Monday and today and the next few days I will be painting. I am currently working on these mushrooms here. These are the false turkey tail. I am doing this painting about the pollinators and I'm going to be doing pollinator animals as well as flowers that are pollinated and polypore mushrooms, which are a type of mushroom that is very crucial to the life of pollinators, especially the life of bees. So kind of working on this symbiotic kin painting about all of them. I am so excited to be painting today. I've had a little blockage when painting those false turkey tails because they are challenging, but I know I got this. And I just started a new audiobook. I'm listening to this audiobook called Wild Souls by Emma Maris. The title is Wild Souls, Freedom and Flourishing in the Non-Human World, which is a very big passion of mine. I'm actually wearing this shirt by, I'm actually wearing this shirt by the Cactus Store. I don't know if you can read it. It's kind of hidden, but it says, find non-human teachers. And 
it's a lichen and the lichen shape says find non-human teachers it actually also it's actually also written in the back but i'll show you that one another day and where it says find non-human teachers it's glow in the dark and yeah i'm just so happy to be painting i've had a lot of logistic doing days and today feels good to be back painting the question of whether insects are conscious was reopened in 2016 with the publication of a paper by Andrew B. Barron, a biologist, and Colin Cunn, a philosopher. It is Wednesday and today I am packing Patreon rewards not before showing you what I did for this month it is July when I'm filming these and this is the combo of the print and sticker that I did for this month and the sticker for this month is the Luna Moth we had a Luna Moth come and visit our home maybe a month ago and ever since i've been obsessed with the luna i had never seen a luna moth live so our sticker is the luna i'm very happy with how the details came out and the eyes look so good so happy with the luna and the print is some rossets if you've seen my videos before you may know that this is a section of the eukaryotic painting and i did some digital adjustments I changed the composition of it digitally and I also added some black outline and this is the back part so here it is July's combo The polypore mushrooms have been some of the most challenging mushrooms I've ever painted and I've honestly painted a lot. 
Polypores are a group of basidiomycota-like mushrooms which have a fruiting body with pores on one on their sides. They are not all on the same taxonomic division. They are divided by their physiological characteristics. Polypores are known for having a hard, woody fruiting body, kind of like a shell with the shape of a hand fan or a bracket. They mostly grow from tree trunks and are one of the two main agents in charge of wood decay in the forests. They play a very important role in cycling nutrients and aiding carbon dioxide absorption in the forest's ecosystems. Some very well-known polypores are turkey tail, reishi mushroom, and chicken of the woods. There are currently over 1,000 species of polypores that have been identified and they are quite important for the pollinators, hence why they are on this painting, and especially for the bees. Paul Stamets, a world-renowned mycologist, has studied the relationship in between bees and polypore mushrooms in depth. And studies show that polypore extracts reduce viruses present on honeybees. So anyways, thank you for listening to my little mycology class on polypores. Thank you for joining me on today's video. I hope you are doing well and that you have a nourishing day ahead. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this blog. And also feel free to check out my Patreon and my Instagram if you want to see more of what I do. I'm sending you a big hug. Bye.